Today's dwelling in the word thought comes to us in the resurrection scene of John chapter 20, verses 11 through 18, when Jesus first appeared to Mary Magdalene. Be sure to read over and ponder this text after watching today's video. You probably at least vaguely remember some of the stories of Greek mythology and the many sons and daughters of the Greek gods and goddesses. Many of these heroes were also the offspring of humans. Of these, perhaps the most famous would be the mighty Hercules. Hercules, you may recall, is the son of Jupiter, his Roman name, better known to most of us by his Greek name of Zeus. In today's world, the most famous offspring of the Greek gods might be Wonder Woman, whose father is also Zeus. And among our youth today, more recently, Arthur Rick Riordan breathed new life into ancient Greek mythology with a series of books under the banner of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. The Olympians not being Olympic athletes, but a reference, of course, to the Olympian Greek gods and goddesses. Now, getting back to the point, Percy is the son of Poseidon and a woman named Sally Jackson. This, of course, would make Percy the nephew of none other than Zeus, just to keep a common thread in all three. Now, in this modern story, at least initially, Percy does not know who his father really is. And as a result, Percy doesn't know who he is. If you know anything about these kind of stories, the children of the gods are all capable of doing extraordinary things. Now, what does this have to do with the gospel? Jesus tells us something extraordinary on the morning of his resurrection. Jesus knows who he is. He's known all along. He is the son of God, but people struggled to believe it. Some of them refused to believe it and resolved to have Jesus crucified at the hands of the Roman Empire. Now, the resurrected Jesus, the Son of God who has been given all authority in heaven and on earth, is telling us through Mary Magdalene not only who he is, but also who we are. He said to Mary these incredible words, I am ascending to my Father and your Father to my God and your God. The God of heaven and earth is our God, and our God is also our Father. We are his children. This is who we are. This is our identity. This is who we are, and this is who you are. This is your identity. So hear Jesus one more time. I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. The children of our God are capable of doing extraordinary things and living exceptional lives. We are born of God. Our God lives within us, and therefore his power is at work within us. Don't doubt what God can and will do through you, his child on the earth.